Hello, let's talk about clustering with hierarchical clustering. So the first step that we need to, to do before doing this, applying this machine learning technique is to scale and make sure that all our variables are numeric. So yeah, we select all numeric, we take out the our target because we want to learn from the data not from the target to to mute all to double and scale, you know, because we are going to use Euclidean distance. And that's really sensible to the the scale of the of our data. Once we have all between zero and one, and now we can apply this technique. So it's the, it's the same thing that we need to apply for chemians. Means. The first benefit we have for applying this is that we don't need to define our first step, the number of clusters. And it will return an attractive tree-based representation, a dendrogram, that is really useful to understand how was distributed the cluster because in key means, it's really fast. It made the process really fast, but it's really hard to interpret. You are guessing. Why we are? What What are the main uh, features that that drive these 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 clusters? We don't know. But in hierarchical clustering, we know what what were the features that affect that division. So it assumes that clusters are nested. But that isn't true for K, K means. So yeah, you have two options. It's always good to have more options. To understand the dendrograms, we need to understand that if leaf, so is of these lines, represent an observation. Similar groups of observation are closer in the tree. So yeah, this group, these two lines are two observations. And they are more similar than any other one in the in the in the in the analysis. Different groups observation are near to the top. So of course the this side is different to the other side. The height of the cut, as we can see here in this line, controls the number of clusters obtained. So if we go really at the bottom we will get the same number of closer to the observations. The point is that we need to manage where do you want, we want to make the cup, maybe here or maybe here. If we cut here, we will just get two clusters. If we cut here, we will get three clusters. To interpret how they are constructed, let's see this really simple example. The observation one and observation three, observation six and observation five and seven are really close if we see, because in this, there are, this is a example just with two features. We can see that six is really close to one based on the Euclidean distance. And the same, five is really close to seven. And based on the high, we can also see that the, the closest group is five to seven. These are the most closest numbers. Even though they are in the same group, you know, uh, they are a little bit lower in the high. That's something that we need to understand. As the closer go lower in these axis, they are really more closer. But what happens when we have different levels? we cannot say that nine is more similar to two because we have nine here and we have two here. So it doesn't matter. For all the numbers that relies on this leaf, all are almost at the same distance and all are far away a little bit on nine. So it's not like ah the nine and two are close no because they are not in the same in the same leaf. Yeah, you can see even nine is 
is is even more far away up too than the other groups. But of course, two is closest to those numbers than nine. Because the the point is that the the this this line is higher than the line of two. That's the define the distance. And of course, eight is a is a little farther to set to five and seven than each other. And that that's the way that you interpret the the right of the cup. Okay, we need to also understand that we have two ways to make the closer. We can use the Diana that goes from top to bottom or Agnes that is from bottom to top. If we use a stops, the, 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 the R default package, it just use Agnes. It's from bottom to top. So, and that's the, the algorithm that describes better this, this article. So, how uh, do we make the Agnes or the H clause function from base R? We we'll start defining the discriminatory measure between each pair of observation, like the Euclidean distance that we did before, and the a correlated base distance, a correlation base distance. And defining each n observation as a cluster. So basically what they say here is every single row is a cluster at the beginning. Every observation is a closer. Uh, then fusing the most two similar clusters and repeating the process until all the observations belong to one single closer. That is the one that we see here at the top. So uh, every single observation is a closer, and then we start combining closer based on the distance. And the first step was to close five to seven. Right. Then we find, oh, also, uh, 6 to 1 is re are really close. And then they match the 8 with the 5 and 7. And this process is really good to identify a small clusters. The other, in the other way, from top to bottom, uh, defining the measure between each pair is the same step. So you need to define your your distance measure. Then we define the root with all observations are included in a single closer. Then you start splitting the closer into two uh, the most heterogeneous clusters. So basically the, the main difference is you start with all observation in a single clause and, and then you will start dividing in two in two parts until you have every observation in a different cluster it's good to identify large close uh, large clusters but if you see here for example it's really easy to know and calculate the distance between a uh, season one but between one cluster with many observations and other, we need to make some assumptions. And that assumption is the linkage. It's like, okay, how do you measure this? You can take the center and then pick the distance between the center and the eight. You could also take a, the average between both, the, both positions and the and take them, the, it's like calculate the distance between seven and eight, eight and five, and then calculate the, the average. That's another, another way. So as there are many ways to, to calculate this distance, and we need to also define what we want to use. And there are five ways to select the distance. There are five options one 
is recommended for adness. It's not mandatory that you need to use adness with complete, but that's maybe the recommended case. It measures the discriminator between two closer and defines if we will have a balanced tree where each closer is assigned an even number of observations or a unbalanced tree to find out liars. So that's the point. You don't you don't always want to see a balanced tree. So that you want an unbalance to find out liars. And that, that's the reason. If you want a balanced tree, yeah, the, the main recommendation will be to use adness and use complete, for example, because the largest discriminator uh, discriminality between closer A, A and B and tends to produce compact closer and balanced trees. Also, you can use the worst minimum variance. Minimize the total within closer variance at each step of the pair of closer and the small between closer distance is me are merged. Tend to produce more compact clusters. So yeah, the complete and worst create really similar trees. On the other hand, we have the Diana closure. We can use the average. Recall the average, this the similarity between closer A and B and can vary in companies of closer it creates, but most of the time produce a balanced tree. But yeah, it's not always, it's not like, it, not, it doesn't force a balanced tree. Sometimes you can have an unbalanced tree using the average. We have the single. Recall the smallest distance between closer I and closer B. It doesn't produce extended closer and unbalanced trees. So yeah, it's a really good option. If you if you want to find outliers, and the centroid one that is maybe easy to to understand, but it's hard to interpret. Completely discriminate between the centroid point for closer A, a mean of vector length p, one element for each variable, and the centroid of closer V. Uh, it often used in genomics, but the inversion can lead difficulties in visualization and interpreting the danger one. Well. So yeah, that's the one that we should avoid. You should try all the other four before using this one. If we want here to see in the book, we have a visualization. We can see how they complete. You have balanced groups, it's like, it's not like the linkage. The single, you see, Alaska is alone. <laughs> but here we have more or less the same number of uh, of items in the left side to the right side. And the words also have a little bit, you know, most or less, you know, the same number of products. But for average, yeah, you have Alaska right here. <laughs> with a very different position. So yeah, all the methods are good. You just need to know what is good for your use case. And let's start how we can code this. So the H closed is the function of stats, the base uh, package from R. And here we have and we do your, when we have the distance that we defined before here, key means coding. Yeah, we already defined this variable, the distance. Then we can go here and just take the same variable and select the method. That is the same for the closer package. The start as a close and the close Agnes and Diana. You will see here, we have, you just need to pick the, the method that you want uh, to select. Uh, I know here, and it's complete. Well, you, you just need to pick the, the method. Is they, they both, they, the three function works almost the same. For example, you, you I want to know what is the most balanced tree. 
I can use the, the agglomeration coefficient. If you are using H clause, you can use the coef clause, coef H clause function from the closer package and solve the results. Yeah, the, the higher value is from the 1D and the lower one is from the single, as expected, <laughs> as expected. If we want to plot, we, we have the base R plot function. We can also use the then extend a package. We, you need to set the your your closer as as the endogram, and then you can pick the the code. You know the high that you want to use the main code, or you can also use factor extra and define the number of closers that you want to select. So yeah, you have many options to extract the resource. You can use the cop tree function. Select a number of closer that you want to use, and that's it. It would give you a vector with zeros and twos, you know, with zeros and two, and we can also summarize the result with table and use the prod table to find the proportion of each one. Yeah, we have more observation in the second group to the first one. And also, if we change the from the K2 to the high uh, 400, yeah, we, we will obtain four numbers. And that's it. That's the only, in other results. If we use the this package, let me see, we can see the observations. Now they, they don't show how to extract them. Well, and the second step, once you have your analysis done, uh, you need to select the number of of groups after creating the the model. So we can use the same methods as we saw in Kden means. We can use the elbow following this this function, or we can uh, apply the 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 synthet Or we can use the the gather statistic. The gather statistic. Yeah, when I was applying this, it takes too much time. Ah, yes, because I was taking a any book fifty. Yeah, it's a it's a demanding process <laughs> because it in it, it, it use for example to to make the conclusions to to make a statistical conclusions. So. Uh, I don't like too much. <laughs> I would prefer the more visual ones as whatever. There is no uh, correct or wrong answer. Just the your your use case. And I think yeah, we are done. We we also have the these visualization tools. But once you have your 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 closer, you can you can use whatever tools. A uh, you prefer and um, here you have some examples not many you know not many examples how to visualize the endurance but you have this one so you can select the number of codes or you can use this other example to just select the ones that you the observation that you want to see but when you have many many observations uh, the dendrogram in cells you know like to see the groups is no is no maybe so useful because you don't see you don't see what is going on at this point. And that's it. Let me just type stop.